How to buy a baseball bat. If you're going to play America's pastime, you're gonna need a bat. So go get one, slugger. You will need a sporting goods store. Optional, a batting glove. Step one. If you're in a league, look up the restrictions for bats, both in material and size. Bats are usually made of wood or metal. The sweet spots are the same, but metal bats are easier to swing, though they're often more expensive and banned from some leagues. Little league bats typically must be under two and a quarter inches in girth and less than 33 inches long. Step two, go to the store and pick out a few bats within your budget and size restrictions. If you wear batting gloves, take them with you to the store and put them on while handling the bats. Step three, match your height with the appropriate bat size. Though there's no hard and fast rule for matching a batter with his or her bat, there are some guidelines from which to start. Step four, Kids 8 to 10 should bat with a 16 or 17 ounce bat if they're under 50 inches tall. All the way up to a 20 ounce bat if you're over 60 inches tall. Step five. For 11 and 12 year olds, bats should fall between 18 to 23 ounces. Step six. For high schoolers and up, bats range from 27 to 31 ounces. Step seven, once you've selected the appropriate bat, pick it up and feel it. Take a few swings, being careful not to hit anybody or anything. Take the bat with one hand and move it around with your arm extended. If the bat is too heavy for you, you'll try and bend at your elbow rather than your wrist to move the bat around. Step eight, purchase the bat that feels the most comfortable. Take it to a batting cage and start swinging for the fences. Did you know? In 2007, New York City approved a ban on metal baseball bats for all public high school games, saying balls fly off the bats at faster, more dangerous speeds.